Hey there, folks, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Last time, we were in my Let's Play world, but now we're in a... This is a standard world that comes with the game. We haven't taken a look at any space stations yet, so I thought we'd load up this preloaded world, and we'll take a look at what you can do with space stations and this particular one in general. And also, there have been some updates since I last uh, made an episode, and we'll go through those. And... This area right here just looks like some sort of landing bay of sorts. And here's a hangar with another landing bay and a craft. The co two cool things that they added in this update are building with symmetry and inventory management. So now you can go up to cargo containers and anything that has like a little yellow box and press K and that brings up the inventory management. And as you can see there's slots and there's n amounts. And I have a couple of things in my inventory already that come with it automatically, like a welder, grinder, hand drill for mining, and an automatic rifle. And in here it looks like there are some steel tubes, which I'm assuming you're going to be able to use to build things later on. And here we have reactors. And in fact, let me just bring up my... Uh, bring up my menu. When you're connected to a ship, it brings up all of the connected items and as you can see, there's a lot of different things. Like in the reactors, there are what look like nuclear fuel pellets, and there's 107 of them. Or 1.07 or something. And there are all different types of things that you will be able to use in the game eventually, which is kind of exciting. And this is a gravity generator component. We'll just slap that in there. We'll go walk around and see what is this. We have some platinum ingot, ingots. I'm sorry about that. And I'm assuming you'll be able to mine those in the asteroids like everything else. And here we have some med medical components. Wow, I really cannot talk today. Also, you can uh, just bring up the menu by pressing K, and that'll bring up your player character menu. And you can drop items, too. Which is new. So, here we have some of the ingots of different types, and then here we have our hand drill. I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's pick that up. There we go. What is that? That is a gravity generator component. Well, that's pretty cool. Pick that up, and that would probably be our, what, hand drill? Yep, so that'll be our mining drill. Can't use them yet, which is kind of a disappointment, but eventually we will be able to use all this stuff in the game and it will be pretty awesome. So you'll be mining stuff, you'll be refining it, and a, a facility like this has everything you need to get from the raw ore, which is... because it's on an asteroid, I'm assuming you'll be able to mine the raw ore right here, and then you'll... Oh, and another thing they added is you can go a lot faster in your jetpack. You can go 107 meters per second, which can be dangerously quick. And in fact, it almost nullifies the reason to build spacecraft, because you can fly as fast as them now. At any rate, let's get back on this, and we'll wander around the rest of the station. See what else they have. And here's just an automated gun turret down the hallway to a cool little labyrinth of things. Like here we have a refinery... I don't know if there's anything in the refinery. We'll jump down here. Anything in here? Oop. Yep, we have some iron ore. Now yeah, we'll drop the platinum ingot. Ingot. I cannot talk today. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, whenever this game is finished, you'll be able to take your ore, take it into the refinery, and then you'll be able to use it, and then it'll turn it probably into an iron ingot, that's just an iron ore. I don't, do we have any iron ingots? I don't know if we can tell. Nope. Can't tell by mousing over unless you're next to something that has it in it. We have nickel ore. There's all sorts of different things in here. I've seen everything from ammunition to ice and all sorts of different things that you can have inside of the boxes that they'll eventually be putting into the game, which is pretty awesome. I mean, technically they're already in the game, it's just they haven't been implemented. You can't 
refine them and so on and so forth. And here we have our little docking bay for the standard blue craft that you've seen before. And another cargo container. Anything in it? Hey, a welder. I already have one of those. I wonder if you can stack them. I'm not sure about that. Ah, you can stack. Awesome. I wonder how many you can actually get in one stack before it uh, maxes you out. Uh oh. And down here is just more storage and whatnot. Yep, another refinery too. Well, I suppose I can get to the building portion and we'll build a symmetrical ship of some sort, I guess. Not sure what, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, I don't know, maybe the doors work now. On? Well, it didn't do anything. Well, you can toggle them now, which is cool. And this is a kind of big station. We were there, we went through the hallway, we went down, and we went out. There's also an upper section. There's an upper section up there with some storage, and upper section up there with some storage as well, but... Yeah, so let's uh, show you how the symmetry works. So, first thing you want to do is, just like always, is you bring up your ship, and we'll build a new large ship, why not? And first thing you want to do is click, click, or one second, and just build a couple pieces first, and zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're building. There we go. You click M, and that this will toggle through your symmetry modes. Let's see here. There we go, that's the symmetry that I want. And then you'll just left-click, and then it locks it into place. And then you just click on your brick that you want, and then you toggle through until it stops, and there you go. And you can build stuff. Yeah, I'm building stuff with symmetry. And also, you can add double symmetry. Let's see here. Yeah, that'll look alright. We'll click there, and that locks that into place. And I can do another symmetry mode, but I don't think I will. There we go. Wow. Well, and... Whoops. That's not at all what I had intended to do, but it'll work. Yep. We'll just finish this up and... Yeah, I'm not making a very creative looking ship, but there's... I'm sure there's all sorts of things you could do with symmetry that I'm failing to do, but... That's the general idea of it, and like I said, with this rocket pack, you can go a lot quicker, and it's quite hard to stop. Yeah, look at that. Anyhow, if you want to turn off the symmetry mode, you need to find your symmetry of origin or whatever, and whoops, toggle through, we'll right-click, and we'll toggle through until we get to the blue one, and then we'll right-click it, and then we'll just toggle it off. And there you go, symmetry mode off. I suppose we didn't really build a ship, we just placed some blocks, but... You know what? I think we'll build a ship. We'll make this a ship, because that's what we can do. It will be the most functional ship ever designed. Whoops. And all we need now are a gyroscope and an engine. There we go. Now 
Now that's what I call a beautiful ship. Form over function, right? No, not really. Yeah, it's pretty terrible, I know. Let's see if it flies. This is a thing of beauty. I think I might cry. Yep, it's official. I'm crying. It's beautiful. Let's see how fast this thing goes. Hey, perfect 100% power usage. None wasted and still have enough. That's beautiful. Also, the stations, if I'm not mistaken, are a little bit harder than the uh, large ships. Well, we weren't going very fast, so I'm sure there's not much damage. I take that back. There's plenty of damage. Well, anyways, that is what they have added so far to Space Engineers. I'm looking forward to it quite a bit now that I have seen what uh, they're going to do with it. They have been kind of cryptic as what they were going to do. They haven't released a lot of information, but now you can actually see all the things that they already have implemented in the game that are going to be in the final version, and I'm kind of excited, so that's going to be cool. And that'll be it for this short episode. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.